Hi, this is Louise from Happiest Towns Dog Training and here's a short video introducing the life skills for puppies developed by behavioural scientists at the University of Lincoln and it's the life skills for puppies we'll be teaching in your puppy classes. So this is me, I am a fully assessed member of the Association of Pet Dog Trainers UK and a registered animal training instructor with the Animal Behaviour and Training Council and I'm going to be teaching your puppy classes. So our classes are slightly different. Instead of focusing on sit, down and stand, and sit, stay, down, stay, stand, stay, um, we look much more at skills that are appropriate to society, things we really want our dogs to be doing, like settling, being nice and calm, keeping their feet on the floor. We will cover sit, down and stand, but they'll be much more in the context of life skills. For example, we'll teach a stand on a raised surface, so that's useful for vet exams, and we'll teach the dogs to keep their bottom on the floor or their feet on the floor when greeting people or while you're preparing food. We call this education rather than training. It's really important that we let our puppies make choices. We're actually going to put more responsibility on the puppy. Instead of telling them and showing them what to do all the time, we're going to guide them um, to make choices and we're going to reinforce, reward those choices that they make that we like. We give them rewards that make them do those behaviours again. So we're going to pay them with things like treats, cheese, puppy kibbles, all the things we mentioned in the previous video about what to bring to classes. Um, we're going to manage so that they avoid errors. So set up the environment so the puppy chooses the behaviours we want them to. Welfare will be always number one. So if your dog needs a drink or needs a break, then please make sure they've got access to their water bowls and they can go out for a break for the toilet or just some fresh air. Likewise, if you need a break or um, some, some fresh air, that's absolutely fine. So welfare is number one. It's really important that the puppy um, has been to the toilet, has got access to fresh water so that they can actually learn and feel comfortable to learn. I will always give you real world applications for the behaviours that we practice in class. Otherwise, what's the point? So the point of learning these behaviours is so that they are useful in real life situations. Something to remember is that being obedient, i.e. doing as you're told, it's not the same as being well behaved. So the aim of what we're trying to achieve in these classes is that our dogs understand what to do in certain situations. So, for example, if you go to a dog friendly pub, you want to be able to sit down and your dogs just chill out at your feet. You don't want to have to tell them down, stay all the time. We want the dog to learn that when you sit down at the table, that they chill out on the floor at your feet. And you tether them for safety, don't get me wrong. We don't want, expect them to do this without being um, safe. So, I've got a long lead here that's tethered to the table, but it's loose. It's just for safety. I don't know if the pub might have its own cat. So uh, one of my dogs chases cats, so I don't want to take that risk. But they know that when I chill out, when I go to the, uh, the pub, dog friendly pub, that they're going to um, relax at my feet. And as you can see here, they've got access to water as well. Another place that I really want my dogs to be well behaved is when I go to the vets. And I've taught my dogs to hop up onto the scales um, with me just asking or directing them towards the scale so I don't need to manipulate them onto the scales. So here's the 10 key life skills. They are all in your book which you'll receive at your first class. You can look at them in more detail through your book and we'll also go through them a bit more, a couple a bit more in the next video. I'm allowed to be a dog is really the most important life skill. We'll definitely be talking about that in the next clip. Thanks for listening.